Hello, I'm Richard and welcome to ClickCentral.com. Um, another little video around storing expressions. Um, in an earlier video, we looked about storing expressions in variables and now we're going to look at storing expressions within um, Data Island. So what I've done is i set up a ClickView dashboard, very simply, um, brought in some basic data and just showed some normal expressions on a chart here. So I'm not going to talk too much about that, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, rather than storing your expressions actually in the expression themselves, so typing them in and copying them repeatedly throughout the dashboard, um, what is better to do is, in my opinion, is to use a data island. So in order to do that, I set up a very simple spreadsheet. And you only need two columns. You need the ID, which has to be distinct, so you can't have anything repeated in there, um, and the expression itself. Okay. So when we load that into click view, we get a data island table that looks like that, very straightforward. Um, and then that follows through into the data island expressions. So if I open that, and it's exactly like the same values, I've got some extra ones there as well, which I'll come on to. Um, so just to look at the expression, what it looks like, it looks like that, rather than sort of looking like this. So what we're doing is we're, we're actually referencing this data, data island table. So we're taking the only value, um, hence why there can't be any duplicates, of the expression, which is here. Um, and for each one, we change the ID. So in this instance, we'll be looking up the sum value. So we're referencing here, which brings back that expression within the dollar expansion, allows it to populate. And the same for sum total. Let's just show that in action as well, just so you can see that. Okay, straightforward. What you can do as well, um, and I've hidden it for the moment, but we'll go on to it, is where we had the percentage before, just flick back, that is you know, one divided by the other. So you could write that in verbatim exactly how it is there, or what I do prefer to do is actually reference the other columns. So if I open up here, you'll see where I've got it. So I've got the value percentage, the ID, and now, rather than typing in some value divided by some total value, I'm actually referencing, in exactly the same way as you've just seen, the first expression, so ID is some value, bringing back the expression, and the second one is some total value, bringing the expression, and then dividing it, if you see there, one, one by the other to bring up the, um, the percentage. So if we go into click view, we just deselect that. Yep, and we can see it there, okay? So what we've got now is rather than referencing these within that expression, we're just expression referencing it once. So we're to there. So we're referencing value percentage, which is bringing back these, which is in turn referencing those, if that makes sense. Now the benefit of doing it that way is that if you have lots of expressions, I'm sure you have, and, and many expressions will build up to make larger sort of KPIs or other expressions, then if you ever need to make a change um, somewhere, so you wanted to change this to something else, then it will filter through to anything else that's referencing that. So you don't have to make the change repeatedly. You only have to make the change once, and that change will reference through. So that's a really good way, I believe, of actually getting your expressions um, onto a dashboard better than the variables. Um, and the reason why is because you can add a little bit more to it, which you can't do with a variable. So if I go on to the data island workbook again, if I unhide the extra columns here, I can see a lot more things going on. So here, we've still got the ID, expression, but now we can bring in what the label is and what the help text is. So if we go back to the um, clip view dashboard, and I just close them down for the minute, and bring these up. So we're bringing in a lot more information here now the day trial and can do a lot more. So now we're actually bringing back the value. And as you can see, when I hovered over it, you can bring back the help text. And we can bring back the label and the help text, label and the help text. And if we just go into that, it's exactly the same thing. But rather than bringing back the expression, I'm bringing back the label. And rather than bringing back the label, I'm bringing back the help text there. So it's just referencing that data island and picking up those columns, which again is really good. Because what you're basically getting now is the start of a data dictionary, which a lot of companies would like to have and should have, although in, in my experience, a lot of companies don't have. I've added some extra columns as well on here because you know you can extend this as much as you want 
um, to give you actually some sort of metadata allows you to understand how expressions are grouped together, maybe by department or you know product margin and what makes up product margin, those kind of things. So you can add in extra filters so you can easily find um, what makes up different expressions here. Um, for instance, I've said, you know, we can use it on multiple dashboards as well. So we can have one central config um, expression um, file, um, which can be read by multiple dashboards. And does dashboard one use these expressions? Yes, it does. Right, we'll bring them back. Dashboard two, now, you know, uh, the yes and no. So you can sort of bring back a bit more information on there, which, which again, adds so much value. And, um, you know, think about it. We can now share this between different dashboards. We've got one central repository for those expressions. And also, as well, we can start version controlling this as well. So if we make a change, we can save the file. We can, you know, as, as a version, we can then roll back if we need to very quickly. Uh, we can add extra notes on there, maybe developer notes, so we understand a little bit more detail about what is happening, a bit more information around that, and so on and so forth. The other thing you can do as well is using customizable charts, which is something I'm going to talk about in uh, in the next video. Um, but there we go, really. So, yeah, I mean, the whole purpose is, is keep it accurate, keep it consistent, and then, you know, once a dashboard's complete, we've got many, many sheets, many, many charts, many, many expressions, but... We, whenever we have to make a change, we don't have to make it multiple times. We don't have to risk missing an expression somewhere in a hidden, um, you know, table chart somewhere, and and therefore you know we've got old expressions that are out of date, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's really good all around. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh